Hey everybody, Jeff Davis here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. It's late November and we finally got some snow here in the San Juans and it's a beautiful day. I'm on a north aspect right around 12,600 feet and I'm looking at the current snow layering. Now to be fair, this is a meter deep snowpack. This is right over Ridgeline. It's on a north aspect. This is about the deepest snowpack I think you'd find out there. Skinning up today, I found everything from like only a few inches of snow to pretty much an average of around 12 to 16 inches. Over the last few days, we picked up being five to eight inches, and that really did a nice job of freshening up the top and hiding a lot of rocks and trees and stumps and all that kind of good stuff that's out there. You know, right now in the mountains, it's pretty basic just due to the amount of snow we've gotten so far. But this is the sort of setup that I would expect for you to get yourself into trouble. And that's where we have a bunch of drifted snow on top of an early season weak layer that was able to develop and facet and kind of create this, this little area, isolated area of hazard. So as you're traveling in the mountains, look for the deepest drifts and avoid them. Dig down with your ski pole and see if you feel that soft snow over what is definitely a harder snow um, on top of some weaker facets near the ground. Again, this is on a north aspect, around 12,600 feet. Not super representative of like what we're going to see in all of our the mountains right now. But if you're up high in the Alpine, you're trying to get some early season turns, watch out for these little pockets that have held the most snow throughout the season, as those are the areas where you could trigger a small avalanche.